Scientists spot unexpected player in fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a mysterious and misunderstood illness, but researchers may have uncovered at least one key to the disease's origin, insulin resistance. The new research compared a small group of people with fibromyalgia to two groups of healthy people and noted that a long-term measure of blood sugar levels was higher in the people with fibromyalgia. Insulin resistance develops when the body starts to struggle with breaking down sugar. To see if treating those higher blood sugar levels might help, the researchers gave people who had blood sugar levels in the pre-diabetic range or higher a diabetes medication called metformin. People taking metformin reported significantly lower pain scores, according to the study. We combined metformin with standard drugs used for fibromyalgia and saw a much greater degree of pain relief, said study author Drive. Miguel Papala He is a professor of neurology at the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston. In fact, Papala said, the additional pain relief was so significant that the researchers actually called patients on different days to recheck their pain scores. Because this is a preliminary finding, the researchers aren't sure how insulin resistance might contribute to fibromyalgia or how metformin might reduce pain. Metformin may have some analgesic, pain-relieving, activity on its own, Papala said. Fibromyalgia is a condition that causes widespread pain, fatigue, sleep problems and distress, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Even celebrities aren't spared from this painful condition, Lady Gaga reportedly had to cancel concerts on her tour due to pain from fibromyalgia. Though the cause of the disorder isn't clear, it appears that people with fibromyalgia may be more sensitive to pain than other people, what the CDC calls abnormal pain processing. Papala said that studies have shown differences in the brain between people with fibromyalgia and those without, such as areas with a lower blood flow than expected. The researchers noted that similar problems have been seen in people with diabetes. The study included 23 people with fibromyalgia. The researchers compared their hemoglobin A1c levels to large groups of healthy people from two other studies. Hemoglobin A1c is a simple blood test that measures what someone's blood sugar levels were during the past two or three months. A level of 5.7% to 6.4% is considered prediabetes, according to the American Diabetes Association. A level of 6.5% or higher means a person has diabetes. Only six of those with fibromyalgia had normal blood sugar levels. 16 had levels considered prediabetes and one met the criteria for diabetes. The findings were published online recently in the journal PLOS One.